The Fact Museum moved to Ashland in 1998. Since then, it has gathered quite the aircraft collection. And none of it possible without the restoration department. That's racked up 222,000 volunteer wow. hours. I met three of the people who've been along for the entire ride. It's Mission Service. This is Mission Service, sponsored by Barry Law. But we gotta make this fast, because we gotta be back here at 10 o'clock. <laughs> Walt Meyer, a restoration volunteer at the SAC Museum, is ready to cut the cake. Pick it up a little bit. Happy birthday, dear Walt. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. <laughs> da, 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 da. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you, Stanley. And Thank you. Uh, you guys may be good at restoration, but the same art. <laughs> the team celebrating Walt's 92nd birthday. 25 of those 92 years spent restoring military aircrafts. And all 25 working alongside 95-year-old Jim Fink. Yeah, you know, one month apart, he's there a month ahead of me. The veterans carpool to the museum from Lincoln every Thursday and even have scooters to ride around in. I consider Jim friends. one of my best friends. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, 92 and 95 years old, and they're not just here to be here. They are both important cogs in the machine. I love a challenge, and this sucker is a challenge. You have to try and scale everything just from a picture. Walt worked with sheet metal for 40 years, and the team has raved about his ability to build. Walt's a mechanical genius. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I really mean that. Walt's incredible. I built a replica of... Um, uh, radar imaging camera took me a year and a half to build it that's in the nose of the uh, b-36 out here while Jim keeps everything in order making work easier for everyone and Jim this this shop is organized because of Jim Andy Beamer is the restoration manager he's also been a part of the team for the last 25 years he tells me 98 percent of the work is done by volunteers <laughs> The people that were there in the birthday party there um, put in about 71,000 hours just themselves. Just about every aircraft out here I've been had something to do with. You know, it's millions of dollars worth of, worth of work that they've put in over the years. Since 1998, the team has restored 23 airplanes, <laughs> along with space capsules, missiles, engines, you name it, all with pride. All the people who, who, who were in the Air Force during the whole SAC period and thereafter, you know, deserve to have, be remembered and have uh, the things that, that the airplanes they flew preserved. It's very important and, and it's, it's important to us to make them as authentic as possible. I always think of what, not five years from now or ten years from now, I think of what are we, what are we all leaving for people to learn from 50 years from now. But it's much more than the satisfaction of the work that has kept this trio at the SAC Museum for 25 years. This is a great, just a great place, a great place to be. I've got 12 photo albums at home. The 12th one is getting full now, but full of pictures of thousands of pictures. The people here, it, it's just like a family. Well, I asked them all which plane was their favorite. They all said they couldn't pick just one. <laughs> they appreciate all 23 equally. But they did allow me and KMTV photographer Kevin Rempe to sit in the cockpit of the Boeing B-29 Super Fortress, the most advanced bomber aircraft to see wow. operation service in World War II. This specific one named the Lucky Lady. Check it out. I wish I could ride that around all the time. <laughs> huh? Well, for more information on the restoration team and the SAC Museum, visit sacmuseum.org. And if there's a person or topic you think we should cover for mission service, tell us. Go ahead and email us at mission.service at 3newsnow.com. That was pretty cool to be in there. It was really cool. The whole experience was really neat. And I'm embarrassed to say this. I hadn't been to the SAC Museum since I was a really little kid. Yeah. And I encourage everybody to go out there. It's beautiful and it's really important to continue to to Absolutely. educate ourselves about our history, preserving yeah. our history here, uh, you know, especially with the military background we yeah. have in Omaha. Those guys do a good job of preserving things yeah. there too. 95 and 92, and I'll double down. They <laughs> they get after it. They I work hard. They're good workers. I They're can important. tell.